Here we're asked to solve a radical equation. The first step is to isolate the radical. In this case, we can do that by subtracting 2 on both sides. That will leave us with the square root of 2x minus 1 equals x minus 2. We next square both sides. Now remember, squaring both sides introduces the possibility for extraneous solutions. We'll check our answers at the end. On the left side, we're left with the argument here, 2x minus 1 equals, now when you square this binomial, we'll be left with x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now this is quadratic. To obtain standard form, we subtract 2x on both sides and add 1 on both sides. In this case we get 0 equals x squared minus 6x plus 5. We then factor. Here we have x squared factors x times x and 5 factors 1 times 5. 1 and 5 add up to negative 6 if they're both negative so we can write x minus 1 times x minus 5. Negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. Once we have it factored, we then set each factor equal to 0. In this case, we add 1 to both sides and we have x equals 1. Here, if we add 5 to both sides, we have x equals 5. Now remember, we want to check our solutions. We always substitute back into the original equation. In this case, let's check to see if x equals 1 solves the original equation. Here I'll substitute 1 in for x. And that will leave me with 2 times 1 minus 1 plus 2, and we need to see if that equals 1. Well, 2 times 1 minus 1 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1, and 1 plus 2 certainly does not equal 1. So that tells me x equals 1 is actually extraneous. Let's next check x equals 5. Substituting 5 in, we have 2 times 5 minus 1 plus 2. Well, we're going to see if that equals 5. 2 times 5 minus 1 is 10 minus 1, or the square root of 9. 9 plus 2, well, the square root of 9 is 3. 3 plus 2 certainly equals 5. So x equals 5 is our only solution.